Hey guys, welcome back. Today we discuss Peter Pan and Wendy. Peter Pan and Wendy is a live action remake of the Disney animated classic Peter Pan, but they really should have just saved us all some time and trouble and called it what it is, Wendy. First, I have to say that while there are some elements of nostalgia throughout the film, such as the darling children's late night sword fight, the film diverges dramatically from the source material, especially when it comes to character design and development. Not to give too much away, but those behind the scenes believed Wendy lacked agency, and so they redesigned her character with a so-called feminist edge. The result is that this Wendy is utterly insufferable. She's dense, disrespectful, selfish, and self-absorbed. Quite the contrast from the Wendy we once knew, who was much more gracious, mature, and caring of others. There were also changes to Tinkerbell. Beyond skin color, they removed her rivalry with Wendy. And we know why, because we can't have girls liking boys or feeling jealousy over them on screen. However, what this means is that they also eliminated much of her character's arc. As a result, she doesn't do much or experience much of anything in the way of growth or purpose over the course of the film. She simply exists. And given the casting, she exists to be the biracial Tinkerbell, a literal token. Peter, like so many male characters in today's media, is sidelined in his own title. And you don't want to know what they've done to Captain Hook and the Lost Boys. Another criticism of this film is the lighting and color grading. Like so much of Disney's new live action material, Peter Pan and Wendy is dull, dark and dreary, with muted colors even outdoors. Each scene felt drained of any life. There was no spark in a film with magic and pixie dust. How they managed to fail, the one thing they should have at least gotten right is beyond me, but the film looks terrible. And then, there are the action sequences. Again, besides a few scenes pulled from the original story, the overall choreography and cinematography for these moments were as clunky and disjointed as the performances throughout the film. Everyone phoned it in here. Some in the media claimed that quote unquote reactionaries, people who rushed to the internet to complain about progressive ideas sneaking into popular culture may be outraged. In any other industry, what I'm doing right now would be called customer feedback. And what I've said isn't just about the so-called progressive ideas, quote unquote, sneaking into the story. They don't have the talent or willpower for nuance. I'm outraged because they dared to take a perfectly fine story and destroy it to virtue signal feminist and gender ideology. I'm outraged that their incompetence in doing so is surpassed only by their arrogance in assuming they could get away with this, but the audience didn't buy it. No one was fooled. Look, this film and its marketing reflect the state of modern film and television, the attitudes of those creating these failures and the studios that are providing them the platforms to do it. It's not about telling a good story. It's not even about diversity or inclusion or any of the other buzzwords they use. It's about hijacking the things we love and enjoy and twisting them into unrecognizable garbage because they hate us. But hey, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.